Well, howdy, y'all. This is Market Explainer, the business news podcast. We're the largest in the universe. We're the fastest growing. But before we get into this next story, I want to tell you about a new sponsor to our show, Powerhouse Drones. If you're interested in getting into drones, powerhousedrones.com. Teach you all about what drones to buy and where to get started with drones. Very nice. I like it. Powerhousedrones.com. Thank new you. sponsors. I like new sponsors. Yeah. All right. But What's our last story of the day? It's my company. So, hey, still, hey, I like it. Yep. Drones. Well, this are next cool. one. This next one is a story that is really near and dear to my heart. It's a non-story story, Danny. It's not a non-story story. Danny has to have a non-story story. Go ahead. Every episode. Explain to them what the story is, so I can tell you why it's a non-story. Okay. If you're a subscriber to Zoom which we are on this part. We use the Zoom is the categorically stupidest piece of software. I have to put in that so many passwords. True. I have to put in 50 passwords. I have to do all this stuff. And on this podcast alone, which you'll notice is a bunch of hard cuts because the software randomly kept conking out every four to seven minutes. We had Probably to do a hard due reset. to user error on Danny's side, but go ahead. No, no I'm a technology whiz. I'm a sure guru. I am the senior advisor of technology to university. I started just gives the himself titles, folks. That's correct. And I just let it slide because it's easier than dealing with them. Go ahead. Um, this, so people have broken into Zoom calls and all that other stuff. Zoom had to pay an eighty-five million dollar settlement over Zoom. I can't say the one word. Um, oh, okay. I, you can't. I, I, I wasn't well, sure. I, so I, I can e- say it, but I don't want to find out. Everybody out there, look, everybody out there watching is. this podcast knew that there was, what, a month, a couple of months last year right. that right. people logging into Zoom, you know, company Zooms and right. Goofing around. showing bad videos or right. making fun of people or saying stupid things. It was a thing for a quick minute, right? Like right. a month, month and a half or whatever, right? Right. Some of those companies got together and turned around and sued Zoom and said two things. One, we don't think you're living up to your privacy, you know, uh, things. Promise. uh, Promise. And this is happening, right? What's going on with the security? Now, when I say it's a non-story story, story, one, this lawsuit was never going to succeed. Right. Okay, Zoom is protected just like Facebook's protected, just like all these other social media type of platforms is out there protected under that Article 230 that everybody's up up in arms about. So it was never going to go through. Two, in this settlement, Zoom, like a lot of lawsuits when they end and people just write somebody a check, is not culpable for any... They're they're basically saying, look, we don't want to deal with this anymore. They're not admitting to anything. So the non-story aspect of this story is the fact that they haven't admitted to anything. They're not held liable for anything. And the party, other party in the matter who brought, who brought, the, who brought the suit to begin with agrees that they're not. Like, that's part of the agreement of taking the settlement. Right. They got $85 million. But let, let, let's do the math, though, right? Yeah. So these companies that filed the lawsuit during last year, wrote checks in totality to Zoom for $1.3 billion. Right. So, you know, the eight, 85 They gave them an $85 million refund. Yeah. But that mean So it's, is it a story? No. Is Zoom Here's culpable why. in anything? Did they really... So, actually, did they do anything wrong? Because from what I remember of the stories... Now, I probably should have gone back and pulled up those stories, but I really didn't because I was kind of flighting on this one. The point, though, is if I remember from those stories back then, the stories were these were companies not using Zoom's privacy settings properly and right. setting up things like simple passwords for meetings. So somebody, so a hacker that got into your Zoom list just was able to just enter and leave any meeting they felt like. So the reason I uh, included the story is because I hate Zoom. I know you do, and so I we get record, that, which is why we, you, you know. Yeah, so we record this podcast over Zoom, and I believe Zoom belongs, I, I'm not Catholic, and I never was really Catholic, so like the third or fourth ring of hell, I don't know how the rings of hell work. <laughs> I'm Protestant. And so we just have one. It's a unilevel. It's just, it's a rambler. Hell for us is a rambler. But so I don't know, but this is where Zoom belongs. Um, I hate Zoom. I hate that I have to, you know, like 
the big man is all constantly complaining that I'm late. I'm on time. I am on time. I'm set up. I'm ready to go. I'm only late because I've spent half an hour putting in passwords, room <laughs> codes. Okay, that is I, user like, error. That is. I I'm have five. purchased cars. I'm ready that to easier. go at the time of recording. I am. So if I have to do the same thing you do and more, right. because right. Danny says he's all these things, but I'm actually in charge of recording with it, editing it. And, you know. yeah. But anyway, so I do all of that, but somehow I'm still on time. Right. Well, you you really got nothing going on over at your place, so you're not yeah, really busy. I'm, sure. I'm busy. I'm a. I am a. Th- I'm a business owner with thriving opportunities that I'm constantly taking advantage of. But what is interesting about this is that. It proves that, like, I mean, Zoom was the kind of golden child of the last 18 months of the Panini, right? Zoom came out with perhaps one of the biggest wins because, like, in the the same way that my mom will say, well, she FaceTimed with my my nephew, I'll go, Mm -hmm. my sister doesn't have an Apple phone. Right. You can't FaceTime. So I'm like, yeah, we'll just do a Zoom meeting. And they don't, it's the Kleenex. They don't mean Zoom. No, absolutely. We're, no, we're using because, it, but it is what it is. That's why right. we use it for this podcast. Is it's simple to use? It's, it's not it's, simple to use. It is simple to use. No. It, I use. Look, I've done. Again, a, I did another. I did an interview on a podcast. You can go find it. It's a, a JV Adulting. We logged in on Streamyard. It took two seconds. I didn't have to throw in like I got to give this thing my social security number. A thumbprint, a blood sample. It needs a like you know a lock of Stream my yard hair. Is a completely different type of platform, but right. all right. So I use Jitsi for any meeting that I have with anybody. I use Jitsi, which is awful, right. awful, one hundred percent awful. See, this is, is where Danny and I get into it on when we talk about Market Explainer and how Danny and I are different. Is Danny like any? Just name anything that is mainstream. Dan- oh, that's horrible. That's awful. That is not like. He does it just. It's Aim. like dealing. Okay, with wait, the, hold on. Give them an example that isn't Jitsi and Zoom. Uh, there you go. Okay, I'm sorry. Being put on yep. the spot. I there you had go. Re- I knew you were gonna pull it out like that. There it's, you go. Again, I've yeah. referenced. It's like being married before. It's like when your wife says, "Give we're me not an married. example yeah, of exactly. blah, blah 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 blah," and you're like, "I don't freaking care that much. Why would yeah. I do it?" This is what Danny does to me on the podcast, right? <laughs> That's not what I do. It's anyway. fine. The point is, I is if you and say I you like it, Danny will say it's horrible. If you no. say it's easy, Danny will say it's hard. It, it, it doesn't matter. It's a it's a can't win battle. But all and right. Then, and in between all of this, by the way, this whole long rant about how I hate everything. We had to stop using Zoom. We had to disconnect, and I had to reboot it twice. Again. Just like freezing. my wife, after 20-something years, picks right. very good times to complain about things. Like, it's like she's waiting. Waiting yeah. for that one moment where her point is the most valid. That's right. what you're doing right now. So, well, good on saying, you, Danny, for picking a great opportunity to pick a story no, when we on. happen to I, be having a problem. I did not pick a great time to have a story. I, I curate these stories days in advance. Okay? Today just happened to be a day where the the the, the, the road rose to meet us. Well, you should where, you should go play the lottery today. Uh, I play yeah, every week because it is your lucky day, my friend. Well, I think that you know, in spite and in you know, because of all of our various technology issues, we are going to call it a show a little earlier mm-hmm. than usual. We do have a lot more things to say, but uh, for that reason, we are going to cut loose. I mean, I just want to leave everybody with this word of wisdom here from me to you. Because you know, if, if you read the subtitles of one season of any Netflix show, it is the exact same thing as reading a book. No. It is. No, it's not, Danny. Yeah. I read four to five books a month. <laughs> we'll see you next time, folks. If we're still here. <laughs>